Well, here's where, uh, having been raised uh, a Protestant Christian, having gone to Sunday school as a child and absorbed the Bible stories, including the Gospel stories, Later in my life, after having struggled through what I believed, what I didn't believe in a kind of larger metaphysical sense about Christianity, I settled on the elemental teachings of Jesus, in particular the first three uh, Gospels. Which uh, is contained largely in this Kingdom of God proclamation that that's, has a hundred such utterances in the first three Gospels. And when I finally realized how often that term appeared in the first three Gospels, I had to ask myself, well, what does this term mean? What, what was Jesus trying to convey by saying, you know, here's the Kingdom of God, the Kingdom of God is at hand. And if one looked at his ethical teachings, it's basically, I cooked it down to, uh, radical servanthood and radical stewardship, so that the ethical principles by which we can evade our dreadful destiny uh, is available via the spiritual teachings that lie even even within the context of the Christian Gospels. It's there. We 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 have to we have to put down the sword. We have we have to consent to a certain vulnerability. We have, we have to uh, recognize that, no, you can't have unlimited wealth, either personally or socially. Uh, that we have to treat everybody uh, with, with uh, kindness and gentleness. And we have to treat the earth with kindness and gentleness. So those teachings are there in Christianity, as I think they're probably there in all of the other world's major religions. But that's, that spiritual ethical content, for the most part, in the religions, according to my limited study of them, has been so overwhelmed by mythical constructs uh, that Jesus is the Savior to wh whom you have to believe in. And, and if you believe in Jesus as the Savior, then you will be granted a life eternal after you're dead. So that, so that instead of the ethical content of the Gospels being how we are to actually live our lives on earth has instead been transposed into something you, somebody you have to believe in in order to achieve otherworldly existence after you're dead.